The Museum of Pop Culture, or MOPOP previously called EMP Museum is a non-profit museum dedicated to contemporary popular culture. It was founded by Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen in 2000 as the Experience Music Project. Since that time MOPOP has organized dozens of exhibits, 17 of which have toured across the U.S. and internationally. The museum, which used to be known as Experience Music Project and Science Fiction Museum and Hall of Fame EMP, SFM, and later EMP Museum until November 2016 has founded many public programs, including Sound Off, an annual 21 and under battle of the bands that supports the all ages scene, and Pop Conference, an annual gathering of academics, critics, musicians, and music buffs. Mopop, in collaboration with the Seattle International Film Festival presents the Science Fiction and Fantasy Short Film Festival, which takes place annually every winter at Seattle Cinerama Theatre. Activities Mopop is home to exhibits, interactive activity stations, sound sculpture, and various educational resources. A 140,000 square foot square meters building, designed by Frank O. Gehry, that houses several galleries and the Sky Church, which features a Barco C7 Black Package LED screen, one of the largest indoor LED screens in the world. Exhibits that cover pop culture, from the art of fantasy, horror cinema, and video games to science fiction literature and costumes from screen and stage. Interactive activities included in galleries like Sound Lab and On Stage where visitors can explore hands on the tools of rock and roll through instruments, and perform music before a virtual audience. If VI was IX, a guitar sculpture consisting of more than 500 musical instruments and 30 computers conceived by UK exhibit designer Neil Potter and developed by sound sculptor Trimpen. The largest collections in the world of artifacts, handwritten lyrics, personal instruments, and original photographs celebrating the music and history of Seattle musicians Nirvana and Jimi Hendrix. Educational resources including MOPOP's curriculum connections in museum workshops and outreach programs, STAR student training in artistic reach, creativity camps for kids, teen artist workshops, Right Out of This World, an annual sci-fi and fantasy short story contest for 3rd to 12th graders, and the Hip Hop Artist Residency Public programs such as Mopop's Science Fiction Plus Fantasy Short Film Festival, Pop Conference, the Youth Advisory Board (YAB), and Sound Off, the Northwest's premier battle of the bands. Mopop was the site of the concert and demo program of the first NIME workshop, which subsequently became the annual International Conference on New Interfaces for Musical Expression, a leading venue for cutting-edge research on music technology. Topic: Science Fiction Museum. The Science Fiction Museum and Hall of Fame was founded by Paul Allen and Jody Patton and opened to the public on June 18, 2004. It incorporated the Science Fiction and Fantasy Hall of Fame, which had been established in 1996. Below, the museum was divided into several galleries with common themes such as Homeworld. Fantastic Voyages, Brave New Worlds, and Them. Each gallery displayed related memorabilia, movie props, first editions, costumes, and models in large display cases, posters, and interactive displays to sketch out the different subjects. From robots to jet packs to space suits and ray guns, it's all here. Members of the museum's advisory board included Steven Spielberg, Ray Bradbury, James Cameron, and George Lucas. Among its collection of artifacts were Captain Kirk's command chair from Star Trek, the B-9 robot from Lost in Space, the Death Star model from Star Wars, the T-800 Terminator and the dome from the film Silent Running. Although the Science Fiction Museum as a permanent collection was de-installed in March 2011, a new exhibit named Icons of Science Fiction opened as a replacement in June 2012, at which time the new Hall of Fame display was unveiled and the class of 2012 inducted. <laughs> Science Fiction and Fantasy Hall of Fame 
The Science Fiction and Fantasy Hall of Fame was founded in 1996 by the Kansas City Science Fiction and Fantasy Society Kansas City, Missouri and the Center for the Study of Science Fiction at the University of Kansas The chairmen were Keith Stokes and Robin Wayne Bailey only writers and editors were eligible for recognition and four were inducted annually, two deceased and two living. Each class of four was announced at Kansas City's annual science fiction convention, Conquest, and inducted at the Campbell Conference hosted by CSSF. The Hall of Fame stopped inducting fantasy writers after 2004, when it became part of the Science Fiction Museum affiliated with Mopop, under the name, Science Fiction Hall of Fame. Having inducted 36 writers in nine years, in 2005 it began to recognize non-literary media. It retained the quota of four new members and thus reduced the annual number of writers. The 2005 and 2006 press releases placed new members in «literature», «art» and «film, television and media» and «open» categories, one each. In 2007 and 2008 the fourth inductee was placed in one of the three substantial categories, Mopop de installed the Science Fiction Museum in March 2011. When the exhibition, "'Icons of Science Fiction' opened in June 2012, a new Hall of Fame display was unveiled and the class of 2012 inducted. Nominations are submitted by the public but the selections are made by award-winning science fiction authors, artists, editors, publishers, and film professionals." Mopop restored the original name online during June 2013 and announced five new members, one daily, beginning June 17. The first four were cited largely or wholly for science fiction but the last was J. R. R. Tolkien, "...hailed as the father of modern fantasy literature." The class of 2017 brings the number of members to 92, plus 20 extra added in 2016 to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the museum. Science Fiction and Fantasy Hall of Fame Inductions 1996, Jack Williamson, A. E. Van Vogt, John W. Campbell Jr., Hugo Gernsback 1997, Andre Norton, Arthur C. Clarke, H. G. Wells, Isaac Asimov 1998, Hal Clement, Frederick Pohl, C. L. Moore, Robert A. Heinlein 1999, Ray Bradbury, Robert Silverberg, Jules Verne, Abraham Merritt 2000, Paul Anderson, Gordon R. Dixon, Theodore Sturgeon, Eric Frank Russell 2001, Jack Vance, Ursula K. Le Guin, Alfred Bester, Fritz Lieber 2002, Samuel R. Delaney, Michael Moorcock, James Blish, Donald A. Wolheim 2003, Wilson Tucker, Kate Wilhelm, Damon Knight, Edgar Rice Burroughs 2004, Brian Aldous, Harry Harrison, Mary Wollstonecraft Shelley, E.E. E. Doc. Smith 2005, Steven Spielberg, Philip K. Dick, Chesley Bonestell, Ray Harryhausen 2006, George Lucas, Frank Herbert, Frank Kelly Frears, Anne McCaffrey 2007, Ed Emshwiller, Gene Roddenberry, Ridley Scott, Gene Wolfe 2008, Ian Ballantyne and Betty Ballantyne, William Gibson, Richard M. Powers, Rod Serling 2009, Edward L. Furman, Michael Whelan, Frank R. Paul, Connie Willis 2010, Octavia E. Butler, Richard Matheson, Douglas Trumbull, Roger Zelizny 2011, Vincent Die Fate, Gardner Dozoish, Harlan Ellison, Jean Giraud 2012, Joe Haldeman, James Tiptree Jr., James Cameron, Virgil Finley 2013, H. R. Geiger, Judith Merrill, Joanna Russ, David Bowie, J. R. R. Tolkien 2014, Frank Frazetta, Hayao Miyazaki, Lee Brackett, Olaf Stapledon, Stanley Kubrick 2015, James E. Gunn, Georges Melies, John Schoenherr, Kurt Vonnegut, Jack Gorkin 2016, Terry Pratchett, Douglas Adams, Star Trek, Blade Runner 2017, J.K. Rowling, Stan Lee, The Legend of Zelda, Buffy the Vampire Slayer to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the museum in 2016, 20 other creators and works inducted into the Hall of Fame 
Creators, Margaret Atwood, Keith David, Guillermo del Toro, Terry Gilliam, Jim Henson, Jack Kirby, Madeleine Lengel, C.S. Lewis, H.P. Lovecraft, Leonard Nimoy, George Orwell, Rumiko Takahashi, John Williams Works, 2001, A Space Odyssey, Dungeons and Dragons, The Matrix, Mist, The Princess Bride, Wonder Woman, The X-Files. Mopop rebrand In November 2016 EMP Museum announced a rebrand to Museum of Pop Culture, or Mopop. In an email to current and past members, CEO and Director Patty Isaacson Sabi wrote Architecture <laughs> 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 Mopop is located on the campus of Seattle Center, adjacent to the Space Needle and the Seattle Center monorail, which runs through the building. The structure itself was designed by Frank Gehry and resembles many of his firm's other works in its sheet metal construction, such as Guggenheim Museum Bilbao, Walt Disney Concert Hall, and Gehry Tower. Much of the building material is exposed in the building's interior. The building contains 140,000 square feet, 13,000 square meters, with a 35,000 square foot, 3,300 square meters footprint. The name of the museum's central sky church pays homage to Jimi Hendrix. A concert venue capable of holding up to 800 guests, Sky Church boasts 70-foot ceilings, state-of-the-art sound and lighting, and a mammoth indoor HD LED screen. The last structural steel beam to be put in place bears the signatures of all construction workers who were on site on the day it was erected. Hoffman Construction Company of Portland, Oregon, was the general contractor. Magnuson Clemensic Associates of Seattle were the structural engineers for the project. Even before groundbreaking, Seattle Weekly said the design could refer to the often quoted comparison to a smashed electric guitar. Indeed, Gary himself had made the comparison. We started collecting pictures of Stratocasters, bringing in guitar bodies, drawing on those shapes in developing our ideas. The architecture was greeted by Seattle residents with a mixture of acclaim for Gary and derision for this particular edifice. Frank Gary, remarked British born, Seattle based writer Jonathan Rabin, has created some wonderful buildings, like the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao, but his Seattle effort, the Experience Music Project, is not one of them." New York Times architecture critic Herbert Mushamp described it as, "...something that crawled out of the sea, rolled over, and died." Forbes magazine called it one of the world's ten ugliest buildings. Others describe it as a "...blob," or call it, "...the hemorrhoids." Despite some critical reviews of the structure, the building has been called a fitting backdrop for the world's largest collection of Jimi Hendrix memorabilia. The outside of the building which features a fusion of textures and colors, including gold, silver, deep red, blue and a shimmering purple haze, has been declared an apt representation of the American rock experience. topic finances The museum has had mixed financial success in an effort to raise more funds museum organizers used Allen's extensive art collection to create a 2006 exhibit within the confines of the Mopop The exhibit was entitled Double Take from Monet to Liechtenstein the exhibit included Roy Lichtenstein's The Kiss 1962, Pierre Auguste Renoir's The Reader 1877, Vincent van Gogh's Orchard with Peach Trees in Blossom 1888, Pablo Picasso's Four Bathers 1921, and several works of art from Claude Monet including one of the Water Lilies paintings 1919 and the Müller Palace 1908. Since then the museum has organized numerous exhibitions focused more specifically on popular culture, sound and vision, Artists Tell Their Stories, which opened February 28, 2007, for example, brought together both music and science fiction in a single exhibit, and drew on the museum's extensive collection of oral history recordings. The museum's recent exhibitions have ranged from horror cinema, video games, and black leather jackets to fantasy film and literature. Topic. 
See also List of music museums <laughs>